Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Mandri Shukla. So today I will show you how to conduct some experiments with magnets. So I will show you how, how magnets work, some experiments from it. And in the last, there is a bonus that how to make a magnet in your own house from your own tools. So the first experiment is that how magnets work. So there are two poles, north and south. So, so now these poles are opposite to each other. North is uh, opposite to south and south is opposite to north. So these poles will attract. But if they are the same poles, north and north, they will not attract. For example, these both are the same poles, north and north. So these will not attract. No matter how hard I push, they will not attract. So there's a force which does not let me to touch each other. And these are the uh, opposite poles, so, uh, south and north. So these attract. So these all are magnets. So you can see these all are magnets and these. Okay. So the thing is to how, how magnets work, the opposite poles attract and non-opposite poles don't attract. So this was how magnets work. So now I will show you to what things do magnets attract. So you can see I have a wooden spoon, a plastic spoon and a steel spoon. So first we'll try with the wooden spoon. It's not attracting. So now we'll try with the plastic spoon. It's not attracting as well. Now we will try with the steel spoon. <coughs> it's attracting. So we can see that magnet attracts steel and no other thing. So that was the experiment number two. Now I will show you that magnet has a magnetic field and it can also cross paper or anything. So I have this paper clip over here. I'm going to keep it on this. And now on this magnet, I'm going to keep it below it. Now you can see that the magnet's magnetic field has crossed the paper and has attracted it with this paper clip. Now you can see, if I move this magnet, the paper clip also moves. <coughs> so this is how also magnets work by the magnetic field. Now it's time for some experiments. Now we'll see how many coins can this magnet hold. So, <coughs> one, oops, two, three, So this magnet can only attract 3 coins. But it depends how many coins can a magnet hold according to the size and the power. So this is a very weak magnet. So it can only attract uh, 3 coins. But if you take a big magnet and a powerful magnet, it can at least hold about 9 to 10 coins. So now the next experiment is how to make a magnet. You have been waiting this all the time. So. The secret behind of making a magnet is first you need a magnet. It can be powerful or weak, anyone you anyone you wish. So now we need a paper clip or anything you want to use. <coughs> so the thing is you need this magnet and a paper clip. Now you need to rub it like this and you need to rub it the same di di direction. The paper clip the same way. If you have a weak magnet, you can do this about 100 to 150 times. But if you have a strong magnet, you can only do it about 50 times. So we're going to continuously do it. So now you can see I've been rubbing this magnet for about 1 to 2 minutes. Now let's see if this works. So over here we've just made our own magnet at home while just using a magnet and a paper clip so this is how you can make your own magnet at home by just using two simple items you can just find out of your house 
So this was how uh, we can conduct some experiments with magnets. And in this video, we showed you how magnets work, what to, what things do magnets attract, an experiment with magnet, and how to make your own magnet DIY at house. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel Manjri Shukla. Hit the bell icon. Please like this video if you liked it. Bye.